Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to fix the firmware patch error on 3DS when you update your system version and you come across this error. So I'll show you what the error is. When I go to power on my 3DS, it comes up with this screen right here. Uh, keep in mind the SD card is in the console. It says an error has occurred, failed to apply one firm patch. Press any button to shut down. So obviously you just press any button and it will turn off. So this is actually a problem um, with the Luma payload. We will need to copy across the latest boot.firm to fix this. So what we're actually going to do is just make sure our 3DS is powered off of course and then take out your 3DS's SD card. Now you can connect this SD card to your PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Now guys, over on your computer, I will leave this link to GitHub in the description of this video and there's one thing we need to download. This is the boot.fem file we will use to fix this error. So my 3DS's SD card is now plugged in. I'm just going to click on this. It's a very small file, but it's going to start downloading. So once that has finished downloading, head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find it in here and you will be able to find it in here. Now this actually just goes on the root of your 3DS's SD card. So I'm just going to right click and go to copy. Now back on my 3DS's SD card, there will be an original one right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename this to something random just cause I want a backup of it. So I'm just gonna call it something like that. Uh, boot backup free, just a random name. Click off of it and then I'm going to paste the brand new file in. So now we can go back onto our 3DS and we can check if this fixed the issue. So back over on my 3DS, we now just need to put the SD card with the new firmware file just back into the console. So now guys, let's see what happens. Let's go and power on my 3DS. And as you can see, we no longer have the issue. So what we need to do here is I believe um, you can set up some options here if you want to, but what I'm going to do is just press on start to save. And as you can see, it just boots up the 3DS normally. So what we are going to do is just hold the power button again, go to power off. Now we're going to just power it on one more time and let's see if the issue has been fixed. So there you go guys, that is how you fix the error. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.